covers with country chic paint. Metal railings and gates add a traditional look to your property, but when left untreated and unprotected from the elements, these features can rust and have the opposite effect, bringing down your home's curb appeal. Instead of replacing costly metal railings or gates, there's a more affordable solution that makes restoring these outdoor features simple and easy. Rust-Oleum Stops Rust Protective Enamel. Since the railing is heavily rusted, we will prime first with rusty metal primer, then top coat with gloss black protective enamel. To have your project run smoothly, be sure to have all supplies on hand before starting the project. For best results, read the product instructions before you start painting. Start by making sure the metal surface is clean and free of rust or paint chips. Use a good cleaner, such as Crud Cutter Cleaner Degreaser, to remove surface dirt, dust, and debris. Once dry, remove loose paint and rust with a wire brush or sandpaper. Lightly sand glossy surfaces. Clean all dust and debris off the surface before painting. Spread out a drop cloth to protect the pavement from any spills. Now the surface is prepped and ready for paint. Start by applying Stops Rust Rusty Metal Primer. Rusty Metal Primer provides a sound base for application of Stops Rust enamels on heavily rusted steel. Primers provide twice the rust prevention than using enamels alone. Wait 24 hours to dry before top coating. When the primer is dry, it's time to paint. Begin by stirring the protective enamel paint can thoroughly. Pour into a tray. Starting with the top railing, use light, even strokes. If you're using a roller, work back and forth rolling away from previously coated areas. Use a brush on curves, crevices, and edges. The paint will be dry to touch two to four hours and fully dry after 24 hours. And that's it. Look how great this looks. The railing is easily restored with the help of Stops Rust Protective Enamel. From a brand My front door isn't feeling like me. I like the color, but in this space it's feeling too dark. I want to brighten it up. Modern Masters has this great front door paint in water-based contemporary colors that lets me paint and close my door in the same day. Now that's my kind of project. They even have a free front door paint app that lets me pick a color and see exactly what my door will look like. Fortunate, that's the one for me. Modern Masters offer some great tips. After prepping, I'll paint the reveals, then the panels, the horizontals starting at the top, and finally, the verticals. <sighs> that feels better, and it coordinates perfectly with my landscaping. It's a bright and happy color. It says, a fortunate person lives here. get started. Primer for doing things right. Hey do yourselfers, I'm Tyler Gianni and today I'm going to show you how you can totally transform a brick fireplace with our new whitewash brick transformation kit. So go ahead and get a kit and get ready to paint along with me. The kit includes one pint of Gianni brick transformations whitewash paint, a mixing container, three wiping rags, a drop cloth, painters tape, a paintbrush, a stir stick, and instructions. Additional household items needed are a bucket, a bristle brush, liquid dishwashing soap, water, and a vacuum. Let's get started. This fireplace gets used pretty heavily, so there's a lot of ash and coals on its hearth. Because of that, I'm going to start by vacuuming up any debris. If you don't have any debris on your hearth like I do, you can go ahead and skip this step and go right to cleaning. The next step is very important, as it will ensure better adhesion of your paint. Using dish soap and warm water, take a hard bristled brush and clean your fireplace thoroughly. After cleaning, take a damp cloth and wipe up any soap residue from the bricks. Make sure it's completely dry and then take the vacuum again to it if needed. 
Tape off your mantle, walls, and fireplace insert, as well as any other areas that you do not want paint. We recommend applying two to three rows of tape for full protection. Protect the floor by covering it with the included drop cloth. Now it's time to mix the paint. Start by stirring the brick transformations paint with the included stir stick. Then, pour 8 ounces of paint into the provided mixing container. Next, pour 8 ounces of water on top of the paint to create a 1 to 1 ratio of paint and water. Remember that it's important that you pour the paint in first and then add the water for proper mixture. Next, use the provided stir stick and mix the paint and water together until the mixture is consistent throughout. The 1 to 1 ratio of paint and water will create a soupy mixture that makes for easy wiping. This will allow some of the original brick colors to come through. If you're looking for fuller coverage, only add 4 ounces of water to create a 2 to 1 ratio of paint to water. Now it's time to paint. With your paintbrush in hand, dip your brush into the paint mixture and start by covering just a few bricks at a time. We find it best to start small so that you can get the desired look before moving on to a larger area. Then take your rag and wipe the bricks as though you are wiping away the paint. Wipe until you're happy with the look. Keep in mind that the wiping step will allow some of the brick's original colors to come through. As the paint dries, the natural colors of the brick will start to show through your application. When you're applying paint to horizontal surfaces, you may want to use less paint to prevent the paint from seeping into the brick at a faster rate. Continue this process of painting and wiping over the entire fireplace. Remove the painter's tape once your paint has dried to the touch. When your project is finished, send us your before and after pictures because they will inspire others. Send any pictures to info at giannigranite.com. To clean your brick transformation surface, we recommend only using mild dish soap and water. Using harsh or abrasive household cleaners will affect the durability of your finish. While you may use your fireplace one to two hours after application, just be extra careful during the first 14 days as it is still curing. So this is the finished look. We were able to accomplish this project in just a few hours. And as you can see here, we used our farmhouse chalkworthy antiquing paint as an accent. I'm Tyler Gianni, and as always, thanks for watching.